All right, folks. What we have here is an 80% lower AR-15 receiver. As you see, it has no safety selector because I'm building it without one. Go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm sure I'll get several comments on why I shouldn't do that. If you're wondering what this substance right here is, I had to use a couple different materials to strengthen up the polymer because I had a couple fuck-ups. <laughs> First AR-15 I've ever built. I have anti-walk pins on this single-stage trigger, as you see. All right, folks. Just to prove to you that this... Uh trigger works. I'm going to show you. Fires. Resets. Fires. Resets. Fires. Resets. Fires. Resets. Single stage trigger. As you see, the anti-walk pins stay in place. They're nice and tight. Solid. Solid. Works. As you see here, a decent lower receiver. All right, what we got here is a very nice, sorry about that. What we got here is a very nice buttstock that's going to go on my AR-15. I paid quite a bit of money for this, almost a 100 bucks. But the material this is made out of is very strong, solid, and durable. Quite heavy. But... This butt stock comes with an extra thick butt pad to make it extremely comfortable when it hits your shoulder when fired. It also has a spot for a sling there and a spot for a sling right there. So it has two different spots where you can put a sling if you want to get something to where you can carry it on your back which is also very nice. This one can also extend out a little bit. I actually lied. This has three places to put a sling on it in case you want to carry it around on your back. One right there, one right there, and one right there. Plus I got one on the back of my uh, receiver, but I'll probably never use. <laughs> This thing's fucking heavy.